Today I'm going to talk about something that I noticed recently deteriorating on my FG Cruiser and that is the fender splash guards. Now I noticed this last month when the front right fender guard was starting to crack and it came apart from the clip that's holding it together on top. I'll just give you a quick look at it and uh, show you what's going on with it. Alright so this is the front uh, passenger side fender well. Here's the splash guard. It's held together by these clips here. The very top clip has basically come apart. Uh, it's right there. It basically snapped off of the clip here. And I uh, noticed while I was driving on a recent road trip that this fender uh, splash guard was so, sort of hanging like this. And so I pushed it back into place. Um, and then, of course, you can see it cracking there. So pushed it back into place back here for the time being. This is it's very thin rubber and uh, you know since this is a 2012 basically 10 years old and uh, you know obviously you do expect to have a little bit of drying out of the rubber over the years so it's probably time to replace these. Um, if you look at the one back here this one is still being held together Uh, it's still in place, however, you can see the crack here. So it's probably time to replace that one. Uh, let's go ahead on the other side, on the driver's side. Here's the driver's side fender well. Everything is intact. Uh, it does feel a little bit stiff. Um, I'd hate to wiggle it around because I don't want to crack anything, but this side has held up a lot better than the passenger side. For sure. Um, this one still has a little bit of flex to it. Um, everything's still in place so I'm not gonna really mess with that. Alright so I have a couple of options here. Um, one I can go with the OEM part and just order the front right fender well guards. My other option is to go with a company called Rad Rubber Designs which makes thicker rubber pieces for the fender guards. I've heard really good things about them. I think for an entire set with taxes and shipping you're looking at 60 bucks total. And then the other option is to go with a cheaper uh, alternative on Amazon. I've seen replacement parts for these uh, around 20 bucks on Amazon so um, haven't decided what I wanted to do yet with the fender guard. I've read a lot of reviews on some of the Amazon products and uh, a lot of people say that they don't fit right, um, the holes are not in the right place, they're actually flimsier than the OEM part. So um, as far as I know, buying the OEM part, I think they sell them in, in parts. There's two splash guards on either side, um, two on the uh, front left and two on the front right. At this point in time, I only really need two splash guards uh, to replace the ones on the passenger side. So I may not end up needing to buy all four pieces, but obviously going OEM is probably uh, one of the more expensive routes. So we'll see if I want to do that or not. But All right, so I'm checking in again and Ultimately, I decided to go with the Rad Rubber Design Splash Guards. Now, I debated whether or not I wanted to go with the Amazon stuff, and although I could probably get it cheaper and faster, I just didn't want to have to deal with any potential fitment issues and then have to send it back. And ultimately, um, the Rad Rubber Design stuff I know is built a little bit better, so I decided to spend the extra money and I went with them. I placed my order at the start of the year. It's been about three weeks. I received the package about a week ago, so shipping was a little bit longer than I had expected. After about a week, I didn't see any packages, so I got a little bit concerned, so I decided to call the number on the website. And a guy picked up and answered my call and basically had a conversation with this guy. Uh, he mentioned that he was the owner of this company and uh, I was kind of surprised to, to reach the owner when I called the number, but it was kind of a pleasant surprise. We talked about FJ Cruisers. He also owns one as well. Yeah, he just, he assured me that my order went through and that they had just gotten in a new shipment of rubber and that my order was part of the next batch that was supposed to go out. So uh, having a conversation with him really uh, reassured me that my order was gonna come. It was really awesome to, to kind of just talk to the owner of this company. So I'm really happy that I went with Rad Rubber Design as opposed to uh, going on Amazon or even going with the OEM FJ Cruiser uh, splash guard. So it feels good to support you know the smaller company. I think that their work is gonna speak for itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the package here. Uh, it came in a bubble mailer like this. Inside is the rubber guards, my receipt. So as I mentioned before, I paid 
uh, with shipping. So it was 50 bucks for the entire set here, plus about $9 shipping. So I paid almost $60 for, for this whole thing. Uh, here's the packaging. I'm opening this for the first time. Definitely has that rubber smell to it. All right, so that's that. <clears throat> we got this heavy duty replacement set, four pieces for both driver and passenger side wheel wells. Neoprene rubber resistant to UV, heat, gas, and oil, fasteners included. All right, so let's take a look at what we got. Everything's rolled up here, and I can already tell that the rubber is pretty high quality rubber compared to what we get with the OEM pieces. And once I get the OEM pieces off, I'll, I'll put them side by side just to kind of give an equal comparison. All right, so in this uh, roll, we get some instructions, a sticker, and some fasteners. A tip from the owner of Rad Rubber Design, um, if you have fluid film, before you install these fender guards, go ahead and give it a coat, give it maybe one side, of fluid film and then you know wait 24 hours flip it over coat the other side uh, and that'll be a, a good uh, protectant for these rubber guards so just a nice little tip there so i'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like here um, i can already tell you know the rubber is really thick compared to the stuff that was flaking off my fj cruiser it looks and feels overbuilt which is which is good because if i had decided to spend my money on the oem part um, I think Toyota charges, I don't know, it's probably like 40 or $50 for one set. Could be one piece or one set. Uh, I would probably have ended up paying a lot more than the $60 here for these four pieces. So the OEM pieces lasted me uh, 10 years basically before they started to fall apart. So looking at this, I'm very confident that these will last uh, well over the 10 years. Right, so just looking at the instructions, there are two different size of fasteners, 19 fasteners that are needed to install, 17 of them being 5 6 of an inch, and the other two being a quarter of an inch. So it's nice that they separated the two quarter inch ones here, and here are the other 17 in there. And I'm going to be using my trim removal tools to remove the old uh, clips and the old uh, fender guards. So go ahead and start that now. And that trim removal tool is making it's a pretty simple job. You just slide it in there and use the leverage to knock these clips off. All right, so here is a look at the equivalent piece from Rad Rubber Design and this OEM one. You can see this one's pretty beat up. There's a little bit of pliability left in this, but not much. If I were to bend it, I know this is going to crack. All right, so I want to install the front one first. And it says uh, everything is 5 16 except for this one in the corner. So the tip is to put the 5 16 ones into the hole first and make sure that they're all the way through. So I will do that before I walk it over to the car. On the passenger side rear, uh, there's, there's a note here that says, use the hole on the right for years 2010 plus. So this is gonna be the hole. So there's two holes here. For 2007 through 2009, you're gonna use the one on the left and 2010 and beyond is gonna be this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this in here. And of course we will confirm this whenever we get to the car, but I have a strong feeling that the ones that you order on Amazon won't fit correctly because these holes uh, probably are on the wrong uh, area. So I've read lots of reviews of people who purchased these things on Amazon and had to punch their own holes. Well, this is probably what they're talking about here. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to the car and get this installed. All right, so I started off with the top one. I've inserted it here. I haven't pushed the clip in yet, but I just wanna line up all of these clips first. Right, so this one's gonna go here. So let's start with this one here. This is the quarter inch one. Okay, so there's a hole here that uh, is not being used. But here's the other clip right here. Okay, so these are all in place. It's interesting because this here, this clip is making contact with the strut here. But I'm gonna go ahead and push these in. I don't know if you can see the clip here, it's literally, you know, very, very close to the, uh, the spring here. So it's kind of curious, but that's the quarter inch one. Anyway, moving on to the other one. Everything's very easy to line up. I'm gonna move on to the other side now. That just fell apart. It's really nice that they supply you with all of the necessary clips because these things break pretty easily. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I find it easier to put the clips through. Uh, through the holes before walking it over to the car. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Here's the other piece again. So when we were looking at this piece in particular, the one that goes on the back side, um, there's two holes right here. Instructions say use the hole on the left for years 2010 plus. So this is the one on the left. I'm going to go ahead and put this clip into the left and then we'll go ahead and put it in the uh, fender well here. Alright, so after installation, here's a look at the fender guards there. This is the front driver's side. And now coming over to the passenger side well. All right, so that's it, you guys. That was the process of installing the Rad Rubber Design splash guards in my FJ Cruiser. I'm gonna leave a link where you can purchase those splash guards uh, down in the description below. I'll also leave a description to the trim removal tool pieces that made removing the old rubber splash guards a cinch. I hope that this video was helpful and informative for you. I wanna give a shout out to Antonio for supporting my channel. Uh, thank you for that donation. Thank you for everybody for watching and for supporting. It means a lot to me that people are watching these videos and I hope that you get something out of it. So with that being said, uh, thanks again and I'll catch you on the next video.